Brendan Regenbald qualifying through the Team Open with Jeskai Control. Five, one, and one. He is playing the Geist of St. Traft Spellqueller version. Spellqueller, pretty powerful against the Storm deck. Ely does have three copies of Sea Beyond in his deck today. That's a bit off the net deck. That one's really nice when you have a mana creature in play. Less nice when you don't. All right, so we start out Ely with Serum Visions on turn one. Yeah, I think the reason for that is his sideboard featuring Madcap Experiment. I was going to say, Sebion's usually an indicator that you're playing the Madcap Experiment. One Platinum Empyrean in the sideboard. Way more important to have multiple Sebion when you only have the one hit. Right. Looks like cards left on top with Serum Visions. We'll go over to Reginbald. So the Jeskai Control deck he's playing, it is the, the Tempo version. So we're looking at four Snapcasters, two Geists, two Vendillion Clicks, and four Spell Quellers, along with Lightning Bolts, Helixes, and Electrolyzes couple spell snare in the deck as well it's going to be one of the better cards for the control deck in the matchup one thing you might think is having a high access to removal is going to be really good against a deck that needs a goblin electromancer or overall chief of compliance to go off mm -hmm. kind of the thing about that though is if they start the turn with enough mana sometimes they just get enough storm even if you hit their creature there's ritual a couple times in response Ely has a main deck empty the warrens you can still lose doing that actually countering the mana creatures matters a lot as you get into the later turns of the game yeah that's why i want to put a lot of pressure i think from out of brendan's deck on spell queller one of the best ways to fight over the storm deck is to just spell quell away a card like past in flames yes draw from brendan was path to exile path really awkward in the matchup because gives <laughs> all the creatures that you're pathing, you want to do so because they generate mana. Then you just right. give them a land. Or you just give them the mana to work with. Frequently you'll path them, and then they'll spend that mana on a Gifts Ungiven. <laughs> yes. Yeah, if you give them enough time, they just cast Gifts. They can do something like set up a reasonably large Grape Shot, remand it, Grape Shot you again with only a handful of Rituals as opposed to fully See, going off. A second land and a pass from Ely. Now his hand has three opts in it, all three copies in his deck. So it's really, his hand is whatever he needs it to be. So on Brendan's on step, he'll fire off the first one. Storm's at one. He likes that one. He'll try again. Here's another opt. Storm's at two. <laughs> this one he's less into, but keeps it anyway. You know, when your opponent starts with turn one Serum Visions, top, top, draw, and then goes turn two, opt, top, draw, opt, top, draw, like, at this point, I am, like, really concerned. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the best case scenario is Ely just <laughs> left both of those ops on top, yeah. and his hand does need help. Well, let's see what his hand is. We're going to see Vendillion click on end step. Goblin Electromancer, Goblin Electromancer, opt. Gifts Ungiven, Past in Flames, Gifts Ungiven, and the Fourth Land. I, I like this one quite a bit. This is not a very clickable hand. You might just decide, okay, these are the things I have to beat. There's an argument, I think, for going for one of the Gifts Ungiven, if, particularly if sure. you only have one counter spell. Right, because if Brendan doesn't have enough pressure, Ely will just keep building his hand bigger. He'll make land drops, more Gifts Ungivens. It'll get out of hand. Right. And I like what Ely has done. I mean, obviously he topped all his cards, but still the power of these cantrips is you can sculpt your hand to the matchup. And against Jeskai, this is the type of hand you want to be looking at. Yeah, and Brendan's hand is kind of long in removal. Path, right. Lightning Bolt, Brendan, Lightning Helix. He does have one Spell Queller, and that's going to be very good against this hand. You see, he ships away one of the Gifts and Givens. But with so many strong cards in Ely's hand, that one Queller may not be enough. He has had some pressure, though, and when you get to the point where Lightning Bolt and Lightning Helix actually matter as burn spells for your opponent, that's something. Yeah. Ely doesn't have a ton of time to work with. Now, Brennan missing a land drop there, and we Ely will opt on end step. This does mean when you look at that turnaround of the burn spells you're talking about, there's only one red mana source in play for Brendan. Mm -hmm. So if he wants to turn around and finish the game off with burn, he's he's can only do it so quickly. Yeah, you can't really get Ely from six. You might just find a spot to just fire off Lightning Bolt. Say this turn, this you end drew step. Logic Knot, just cast Lightning Bolt now so you can cast Helix whenever you want. You even have that option just as more turns progress too because you're going to have a couple more turns before you can actually win the game yeah. anyway. And I love the patience on Ely's side. Fourth land, looks like it's another pass. On five mana, 
then Eli, we may see him make Goblin Electromancer. So then he can Electromancer plus gifts. And because of the patience on Eli's side, Brendan end step looks like he's going to flash in Spell Queller with no target. Yeah, and because he's drawn the Logic Knot, this is pretty fine. You need to turn up your clock. You still have a counter spell. Yeah. The issue is, though, Eli just gets the Gifts Ungiven. Yeah, right now, while Brendan's tapped down, he'll cast Gifts Ungiven. And you know, and if I'm trying to guess what he's going to look for, Eli's got all the pieces he needs. It feels like it's mana. It's rituals he's going to go for. Yeah, and that's usually going to be the case with the Storm deck. Yeah, we see Pyretic Ritual, Desperate Ritual, looks like Grape Shot, and I think Mana Morphos will be the fourth piece of it. The fourth gift. I kind of like throwing a Remand in the mix. Yeah, especially with that double of Electromancer, Remand's a pretty, it's a pretty solid card. I'd be concerned that Brendan doesn't have any spells that cost more than one or two left in his hand. Mm -hmm. And it looks like maybe he has to put a blue card in there. So we have Desperate Ritual, Manamorphose, Grape Shot, and then we'll get a look at that fourth card. It, it is, is the Remand. So no Pyretic in there. Ritual, Ritual, Finisher, Remand. This is still, I think, the greediest, one of the greedier ways he can do it, you know, by not putting Pyretic in, but putting Manamorphose in. It's still just, just more value. Mm -hmm. Brennan's clock's not fast enough yet, and Ely moves slower because of it. With the Queller here, Brendan has a two-turn clock, assuming that he leverages the Lightning Bolt, Lightning Helix. Yeah, and it looks like... He has to connect for five twice. Manamorphos and Grape Shot will go to the graveyard, so Remand and Desperate Ritual into Ely's hand. Ely does have land five... And it looks like Ely, because of that Gibson given, has to actually discard to hand size. Yep. Yeah, on the draw, hasn't really gotten any yeah. cards out of his hand. Yep, gets rid of one Electromancer. Yeah, that card's not doing anything. Now, the first one actually looks very good, but I agree, the second one, not great. Now, we go over to Brennan's side. He drew another burn spell, which at first looks great because he wants to close quickly, but that single red mana, I think, is, makes that a dead draw. It just doesn't change his clock. He already right. has this rolled up with one more attack and both burn spells. Yeah, so Ely needs to win this turn. Yeah. Draws a land. It is a mountain. Now, because he his, he's the limits on red mana, if Ely doesn't win this turn, the remand could actually buy him another turn. That's true. So, we'll see if Ely can go for it. Goblin Electromancer to start. Ooh. Spell Snare from Brendan. That's a huge play. It's a powerful magic card. And right now, he has this covered. He can go end step Helix, untap Bolt Logic Knot. Ely would have to remand the Helix on site. Yep. Which he might do. I think he was thinking about whether or not he wants to remand his Electromancer in response to the Spell Snare, but he just doesn't have enough mana left over with that line. Sure. Six cards, Ely's gonna pass. If Brendan, oh, see what he wants to do on end step here. This is interesting. I like this, fires off lightning, he looks at Ely, so that'll put him to eight. If Ely doesn't remand here, he's going to lose. He's looking at that remand. Yeah, so he remands it back. But if Brendan draws a red mana source, he should still be able to win. Right. Can he do it? Big draw coming, it is a colonnade, no. So Brendan's going to be short a turn thanks to that remand. He swings in to put Ely down to six. But yeah, the tapped blue white land is not going to work. He has to hope that that logic knot can keep him alive for another turn now. Logic knot's pretty good. Yeah, two cards in Brendan's graveyard. So it's, it's close to being a hard counter spell. On Ely's side, draws a copy of Baral, makes land number six. But here's the pressure. He starts with Baral. I guess Brendan can Lightning Bolt the Baral if he wants. He has extra burn. Mm -hmm. That also makes his logic not a little bit better. Yeah, he can do both. You do run into the issue if Ely has another remand. He can be in all kinds of trouble. If Yeah, if you wait, and then when Ely plays another spell, you say Lightning Bolt, and then he's like, remand your Lightning Bolt. So yeah, now being able to do that for one man is like a yeah. pretty big win for Ely. Yeah, I agree. Brendan does have tools here. If he makes it through the turn, he will win. So spell number one is Baral. Yeah. Players are waiting, we're gonna get out our storm counters. 
I kind of like just pulling the trigger on Logic Knot for three here. Tap your third land, exile those two cards. Maybe. If there's just an, the worry though is that if there's just another mana creature, another brawl that you that then you lose. Right. I, I think I'm. I might go for the line of let this resolve and bolt it as soon as you have priority. So the issue is you have a lot of options and all of them actually lose to something different. Yeah, I know. So then you have to like crunch which one's likely. Right. The reason I like this one, you've already seen Eli discard the Electromancer. Mm -hmm. if, he, if he just like has another Electromancer, you can't have that many rituals. Um, so I like going for that. Logic Knot looks like for it didn't tap two, land, yeah. so he still has the option of Lightning Bolt after the fact. The thing is, like, two mana is not that much mana for Ely. Yeah. I would have liked so he to might have seen pay. for three. Yeah, if he has a bunch of rituals, he can pretty easily pay for this. He does have a lot of work to do. So he'll fetch. And look like, yeah, he's going to pay. Now Ely has priority. Brendan will certainly Lightning Bolt as soon as he's allowed to. Right. But I think Ely's going to make it out of this turn now. Ely has, a, I think, a couple yeah. rituals. He still has that Past in Flames. Spell three. A and Brendan should be Lightning Bolting now, I think. Yeah, and there will be the Bolt on the Brawl. See if Ely wants to cash in that last... On the another two, yeah. He has mana. another Baral. This is really good. So he makes three red mana. That is actually, there's four spells on the turn, two from each player. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he can. He's going to use a red in that last land to make another Baral. Spell number five. And I, it looks like he's going to have it. Yep. Spell six is going to be another Desperate Ritual. That puts him up to four red mana. Spell seven. If he's got Past in Flames, he's good. And we know it's there. The last spell is Past in Flames. That's spell seven. If you look at his graveyard, he's got a bunch of rituals, a mana morphos, and a grape shot. It looks like Ely's going to get this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is remanned grape shot already. He has, to, he, he has to make blue mana, but the mana morphos covers that. Right. Uh, so ritual, ritual, mana morphos. Yep. I suppose you can't remand the grave the, the right the graveyard the, the one flashback to grape shot. So he has to do a little bit of work here. Yeah, but it's not much. He's got the, all these opts in the graveyard, and we see his storm count getting looks like up to ten. He only needs to get to seventeen. He draws off that mana morphos. He's got plenty of mana. All right, so we'll look. Serum Visions. Yeah, Storm's at 10. He's got three Ots. Well, I guess it's not, it's not there yet. He's got a Gifts Ungiven, though. That actually may be able to do it. And that's a bingo for Team Ryan. Wait, both of them? Spell both of them. With flashback, Gifts Ungiven for three mana. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. You only have six squares. Yeah, Seven but five squares. Of yeah, them are they're in a row. row. <laughs> I only have. <laughs> That's how the game works. That's dumb. I don't even. <laughs> Storm count for right. eight. Lining up for another bingo. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is ours. Taking the victory lap. Oh yeah. Okay, That's good. Bingo is too That's easy. Good. Is there a hexproof creature with power five in play? <laughs> Neither of those boxes can ah, be checked. Dang. I mean, maybe if we start putting auras on the Geist of St. Traft, we could get there. <laughs> what's, the, like uh, what's the Angelic from, Destiny. He's going to do that. What's the one from uh, Shadowmoor or whatever? Shield steal the, the God. Yeah, steal, steal the, the Godhead. God no, that only makes it a 4 4. We need, right. It has to be Angelic two Destiny. Two steal the Godheads. Two steal the Godheads. Okay. That's good. All right. So the Gibson, Gibson given cast here. For. Just for mana cards. Can cast the Pyretic, cast a Desperate Ritual. Grape Shot? Not enough yet. So he has to yeah. cast the Mana Morphos. Okay, that should do it then. Yes. Yeah, Storm's at 16. Grape Shot for 17. Looks pretty lethal from here. And that will do it exactly. Grape shot for 17. It's Brennan's life total. Game one does go to Ely Cassis. And in what really turned out to be a nail biter on that turn. And major credit to Ely remanding that lightning helix that was not lethal. Yes. That was the whole game. Right. If he waits and takes that lightning helix and says, I'll remand the next spell, it's not going to work. Ely would have lost. And you'll see a lot of people playing combo decks just not seeing those tempo plays. So. Yeah. What? You don't counter a, light, a lava spike till it's lethal, right? Right. Yeah, and Ely recognizing that this is a tempo situation. Yeah, love it. All right, so they're going to get ready for a second game, and we're going to take a short break.
We'll be back soon. The SCG Tour is brought to you by StarCityGames.com, where you can now order Ixalan boxes, cases, bundles, combo packs, and more. Visit us at StarCityGames.com and order your Ixalan products today. Welcome back here. Players still sideboarding after Ely Cassis winning a very close game one with Blue Red Gift Storm. 288 players this weekend means a 7 1 finish for Ely would certainly put him in the top eight going into day two. Oh, yeah. Right in front of the pack with a record like that. Looks like we have, we'll have just one undefeated player at the end of the day. Looking at the sideboards, this matchup, especially because of the tempo elements for Jeskai, can be very difficult for the Blue Red Gift Storm. So I want to look at the things that Ely has brought. Three Lightning Bolts, two Anger of the Gods, two Echoing Truth, two pieces of the puzzle. I'm skipping over. We'll get back to the other one in a sec. A Biforce, an Empty the Warrens, a Shattering Spree, and then he has a secondary combo of two Madcap Experiment, one Platinum Empyrean. So I think specifically against a Spell Quiller, Cryptic Command, Logic Knot deck, right. I'm not trying to play the one card combo. I like the pieces not, of the puzzle, yeah. not in the Madcap experiment. I think there's an argument for Lightning Bolt in this matchup, too, because of Spellcaller specifically. It's not pretty. Yeah, a lot of times we'll see, I think last time we covered Modern, we saw some Storm players, because this matchup can be difficult for them, try to Blood Moon out their Jeskai opponents. Uh, Ely, Ely doesn't have anything like that. Lightning Bolts may be good. I'm not sure it's enough to push him over. And honestly, I would rather draw uh, pieces of the puzzle than Blood Moon in this matchup. I think oh, that the Storm deck certainly. has the tools to play an attrition game. All right, well, let's see how Brendan fights back. Two copies of Disdainful Stroke, two Dispel, two PNK on Nalar, two Relic of Progenitus, some Singletons, a Braid, Celestial Purge, Engineered Explosives, Is It Staticaster, Jace, Negate, and Supreme Verdict. So this sideboard's actually great. Yeah, I, there's a bunch of things I want to do in this matchup. Dispel catch, catches all the rituals, catches Gifts Ungiven. Disdainful Stroke is good enough because it catches Gifts Ungiven, catches Pass and Flames. Relic yeah. of Progenitus is great. That turns off those Pass and Flames kills. How about um, is it Staticaster? I like that too. Yeah, one of the ways that the Storm deck can win this matchup is just going for a fast empty. Having some answers to that, be it the Staticaster and or the Supreme Verdict, I like one or both of those. And then the gate is also quite good. Yeah, do you, and now that's something, if you're worried about Empty the Warrens, can we board in Jace Architect a thought? Is that too cute? I think you run the risk of just getting grape shotted if you tap out for that. Yeah, I mean, like. Because if he just empties and you go, ooh, Jace plus go, you know, you could get him, but I get it. It's, it's a four mana spell against Storm. I'm not. They eh, cannot, they, yeah. Yeah, they, they only have to like grape shot <laughs> you for lethal. They can set up a turn where they grape shot Jace down and then they goblin you. Sure. I, I, and I actually like Engineered Explosive is more than Supreme Verdict because um, yeah. it cleans it up more efficiently. I suppose they might just remand the Jace. You just like, can't play that. Yeah, there's some issues. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, players are ready. Brendan going to be on the play of game number two. He is on a mulligan to six. Though, I, I think that can be overcome, especially with a card like Geist of St. Traft out of Brendan, I wouldn't mind. I, I don't think that Geist is fast enough. I think there's a real risk that you cast Geist and then Ely just wins the game. Do you think he boards it out? There's a lot of stuff you have to board out first. I think okay. mostly we're trying to get the Path to Exiles out. I actually like removing things like um, some of the burn spells. We do see a Lightning Helix in okay. Brendan's hand. That's kind of one of the cards I'm on the fence about. I kind of like boarding that one out. So you want to win more with Spell Quellers and Snapcasters as opposed to something like Geist? Right. Yeah, that's a recipe I use with Grixis. Um, when you have the Geist, you know, Brendan's obviously played more Jeskai than I have. Yeah, it's it's similar to like, I guess, a Tassiger out of Grixis where it's like you're landing a threat well, but, one but, and yeah, three mana are different. very different numbers. I guess when you're playing Grixis, you don't go for, like, the turn three or turn two, just, like, tap all my lands, delve all my cards, Tassiger, go. Right. You just get punished for yeah, that. Yeah, you want to cast on, like, turn three or four at the earliest. I can see that. Sea Beyond from Ely Cassis is going to be our first play here. Oh, that's one which should raise some of a flag from Brendan, saying, hey, this isn't stock. If he thinks through it, he'll think, well, that means Madcap Experiment's somewhere in your 75. That card's not stock or good. Or something's good, yeah, going something's on. up. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the only real answer is Platinum Empyrean. Yeah. That said, if I'm Brendan, I, I'm not that concerned about Platinum Empyrean. It's, I wouldn't it's be beatable. surprised if a significant portion of this field just had no idea what Sea Beyond was supposed to mean. I see it, and they're thinking, that's a strange card. Yeah, Madcap Experiment's pretty fringe. It's sad that 
Platinum Empyrean doesn't have the reshuffle clause. Otherwise, you could play Charter Course. <laughs> you could like hit them with your Electromancer and Charter right. Course. <laughs> and third land from Brendan. He does have a three drop. That middle card there, I believe it's a Spell Queller. So pass back to Ely. Yeah, I'd be happier to have a Queller in hand than a Geist. Yeah, now the worry, I think, from Brendan's side is if Ely just keeps making land drops and just doing value plays, Brendan doesn't, you know, it, that can be difficult. If Ely just starts casting pieces of the puzzle, makes land drops, mm -hmm. and, and one thing hangs about this out. matchup is two mana counter spells are just a lot better than Cryptic Command. Yeah, Cryptic's really hard to cast. As the game progresses, if you're going to be casting Cryptic Command and hoping that you don't yeah. just lose the game on that turn because you tap that many lands, you need to have at least six, seven, eight lands in play to really do that. On Brendan's side, do you start firing off these lightning helixes so that later you can snap cast them, or do they have to be saved from, for the creatures? You get to a point where helixing the creature actually doesn't matter. Right, if he really just has six lands, who cares? It's also meaningful to represent a full car hand of cards. If you start casting lightning helix and it puts you down to oh, four yeah. cards, <laughs> either you can just be like, I very easily beat any four card hand from your <laughs> deck and just go off. Um, you just you kind of give that information away. When I played Storm, these are the games I love, the kind of strategy Ely's playing here and where you recognize your opponent's slow clock and you just adapt. Yeah, so this is actually kind of like a blue control mirror with regard to bolts and helixes in hand. You get to a mm -hmm. point where you say, if I don't draw a land, I have to discard the hand size, so I guess this is going upstairs. And you see Brendan, the first player to flinch, he missed land drop five. Now Ely will make his fifth land and he casts pieces of the puzzle. In the blue control mirrors making yeah. land drops is paramount. Against Storm, it's even more important. He's going to have to discard if this resolves. <laughs> it's not even guard advantage. Yeah. <laughs> Get spell called. Nice. Now we can. Ca That's like because you had to discard if it resolves, it's like kind of a win for Ely. Like you might just let this happen. One thing about pieces of the puzzle, having a stocked graveyard can Has matter value. for the Storm deck. All right, yeah, it looks like he's going to remand the Spell Queller back into Brendan's hand. I suppose he's just considering his life total. There's a strong argument for just remanding your pieces of the puzzle. Ooh, I like that a lot. You keep the pieces, you draw another card. But I think that one, because he'd have to... Well, no, he'd just be at seven cards with that, so that'd be fine. Yeah, that'd be fine. He's going to take Remand and Desperate Ritual. Passes up on Opt. But now he's up to, up to eight cards, so he's going to have to discard. Got an extra land. Look, that looks like what he's selecting. So, Flooded Strand going to be in the graveyard. It's already got Shivan Reef for land six. And now Ely knows about a Spell Queller. So you can pay some mind to that. Some mind. Brendan needs to get a clock going, though. Got, he picked up a Vendillion Click to go with the Queller. Though it's it's really scary to cast. Like, you don't ever... I think a veteran movie, or what I liked and Brendan did it last game, is rather than draw-stepping that click, and stepping it, is really... You can just really, lose. You just yeah. can't tap all that mana before the main phase. Yeah, and we see that. Ely says go, and step Vendillion Click. We get to look at Ely's hand. Pick a card. It goes to the bottom. Ely draws a replacement. And he's just going to use these remands to extend the game, cast another one out of his hand. And, and Brendan's going to force the issue a bit. Here's a negate on Ely's remand. And Ely, he may, he has another remand. The question is, does he remand the click or remand his own remand? I'm very into remanding your own remand here. We haven't seen Ely make that play yet. That play is so good. There we go. There we go. Put it back in the hand. So he's remand, goes back. Ely draws the card. The negate's just does nothing and now the click trigger resolves and in counter wars remanding your own remands is just remanding anything of your own is really great i mean Ely still has a seven card hand do him or lance but uh, yeah like he, this is mostly map sources yeah actually. actually he hasn't I mean, he hasn't found business he has three rituals remand and pieces of the puzzle i i feel like you have to take pieces yeah There's, for brendan it's zero cards or pieces yeah Ely has seen so many cards this game. He could just leave the pieces because he still has Spell Queller. One thing about that, though, is with the remand, unless Brendan yeah. presents his sixth mana source, he can't just Queller again. I mean, and, and he may have the piece of the puzzle covered, but what are you really worried about Ely drawing? You know, like, what card can Ely draw that's better than pieces of the puzzle? It, it's pretty small, right? Yeah. You know, 
you might as well just, you know, maybe Ely draws a land off it, and then it's just great for you. There's some comfort in just knowing the hand. Sure. In particular, if you have it covered. And it looks like the two cards added to Ely's hand are Basic Island and Serum Visions. So he'll cast Serum Visions. They were back to his turn. Brennan hitting for three, playing nothing. Picked up is it Staticaster that'll cover possible empty. And it looks like Serum Visions will get met by Spell Queller out of Brendan. He wants to up his clock. I'm into remanding this Serum Visions. I like how we, we never talked about remanding the Spell Queller. We're into remanding the Serum Visions. And yeah. that's what's going to happen. Yeah, that Spell Queller's coming down sometime. Ely's already under pressure on the battlefield. He just needs to assemble, assemble some kind of win. And you mentioned this. Brendan does have another Counterspell in his hand, but it is Cryptic Command. And that four mana that it costs is getting pretty unwieldy here. That is a lot. His hand is Cryptic, Cryptic, Helix, Staticaster. Ely has picked up a Mana Morphos. Okay. He's still shy on business, but Mana Morphos is among the best just yeah. filler cards for the deck. Yeah, with all his remands in the graveyard, the Cryptic's actually going to do its work as a Counterspell here. Yes, it'll counter one thing, though it's usually right. true that you have to fight multiple fights on the actual combo turn. Right, no, it'll it's and yeah, it'll just be one counter and that may not be enough, especially when Ely's building up to so many lands here. Uh -oh. And it looks like we might let's get out the storm counters here. Hold on. Are we making goblins? If we're making goblins, Brennan's very happy about this. Pyretic, Manamorphos. So we had We'll get our storm count out in a sec. There was a lot Serum of counter wards fighting. Serum Visions, Spellfeller, Remand, Serum Visions again, Ritual, Manamorphos. So six. Yeah. And there we go. But if it's empty, Brendan's going to get a big win here. Ely's dumping up most of his hand into this. So Pyretic Ritual brings Ely up to four. Desperate up to five. If he drew past in flames, we still might be in, in win with grape shot this turn territory. Another Desperate Ritual. Now he, he wants the blue mana because he had these two Desperate Rituals and he didn't splice, but he could have, which means he's want, it, to, it would have had to preserve the blue mana for him to do it or use it. Mm -hmm. So now he's going to empty. It's a huge number of goblins. I think 20 of them. Yeah, but Brendan has it covered. If Ely brought in the Lightning Bolt, he can Lightning Bolt the Goblin targeted yeah. by the Staticaster, though he doesn't have enough to be lethal on top of that in one swing. Now, the good news on Ely's side is that he's got six, make that seven mana producing lands just here. Okay, one Past in Flames resets everything. Oh, yeah. You know, he can just make, he didn't actually expend that much material to make this play. So here's 20 goblins. Puts the counters away, says go. And Brendan draws lightning bolt. With Ely down to one, I, I guess the question, yeah, you just have to make it main phase. That's what it'll do. Here's his Staticaster. It'll shoot all 20 goblins. It'll shoot one goblin, and then it'll ping its way through the other 19. A swing for five, Ely's down to 10. But he untaps with seven lands. We'll see if he can reload. Draws Grape Shot. Pretty much just has to be passed in flames here. Yeah. Well, he might. He drew a Grape Shot. He could just shoot away the Vendillion Click, but he does not. And now that Brennan untaps, those Cryptics should cover passed in flames, and I'm Ely may be drawing dead. Yep. That is how it looks. Another red source here, though. He just has oh, lethal Oh, Helix turn. and Lightning Bolt. Yeah, that'll do it. We're going to game three. Brandon Reginbald taking the game here. And, you know, some really strong play on both sides. From Ely's side, I loved the patience. I was able to build up to seven and make it eight lands. Uh, but on Brandon, the sideboard Staticaster, very strong. Uh, and early on, just bringing, you know, spell quelling in for extra damage did pay off. All right, well, they're going to have a third deciding game. It's going to be our last game here of day one of the Invitational. We'll bring that to you in just a minute.
though, the ability of Storm to play that long game, especially against a deck that has a decent mix of counter spells, has removal, uh, that, that's really just a testament to the power level of the deck, and that's just true. When you see a successful combo deck in Modern, it's usually not so much to do with how fast it can win, and Storm can win on turn three a healthy percentage of the time, but it's the fact that they also can play into turn seven, turn eight. Yeah. Ely scries to the top on a six cards hand, and we are underway. Starts with a Scalding Tarn. Does have at least one mana creature. We'll see when he wants to go for them. And the coast will be clear. Brennan starts on Serum Visions. No uh, spell snare going to be represented. <laughs> Typically, you won't see a Storm player running out one of the mana creatures just on turn two. Oh, man, I'd want to do it here. See, that's the thing. <laughs> you say that, it's like, oh, when I play Storm, this, I'd be making the Electromancer. If you suspect your opponent's very light on removal spells post sideboard, it makes sense. Though we did see Lightning Helix. We yeah, know that Lightning and Bolt. Bolt's not going anywhere. And it'll be C Beyond from Cassis. Comparably powerful. And look, we do see a Lightning Bolt in Ely's hand. So yeah, he is ready to fight against Spell Queller. And he does not shuffle the Lightning Bolt back in. He picks, selects a different card for C Beyond. And especially if you don't think that Geist is in. Just having Bolt even to kill Vendillion Click, obviously to kill Spell Queller, can be a big deal here. It also makes your Grape Shot turns a little bit easier. Right, if you're actually trying to get there with a the Grape Shot kill. Brendan will go ahead and Shock down to 16, and he passes just with the play of Shock, then no play. Now, leaving up in the gate, wouldn't want to be Blood Mooned. Uh, Ely's not playing it, but that is still a concern. Also, Pieces of the Puzzle will be a good one to negate in this turn. And I like this. Ely's going to go for another C Beyond, and we'll see if Brendan pulls a trigger. He does, and this is a really bad news for Cassis because he actually didn't have the land. And he, I think he didn't want Brendan to know that, because yeah. now Brendan will start negating. You know, if Ely casts Serum Visions, Brendan might negate. And that's all well and good, but Brendan does need to get a creature on the battlefield. Draws the land for Ely. We'll see if he... How he wants to, if he wants to let Brendan know that. Looks like he, he's looking to go for Seer Visions without making the land drop to try to bait a counter onto it. And then decides he actually would rather it resolve. You really want to use your shuffle effect before you cast Serum Visions. Yeah. There's some nominal bluff value there, but I just don't think it's really worth it. You seem to go for the tapped Steam Vents. does have Spell Queller on his mind. Looming here, he'll go for Serum Visions. And there is the Queller. It'll take care of the cantrip. But Ely has Lightning Bolt, and it's in his hand. Wouldn't be surprised to see him just fire that off right now. Sure. Obviously, you wait for the Spell Queller trigger to resolve. This is not... Oh, a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not a Banisher Priest. It's a Fiend Hunter. Right. So it resolves, then he lightning bolts it. He'll get his, he will get his serum visions. And sides on the scry. See Electromancer in hand for Ely. Both cards on top with the serum visions, all right. And another land for Reginvald. Looks like he, the remaining cards in his hand, he has Negate, Spell Queller, Supreme Verdict, Land 5, and one other. Those are reasonable holdings. In yeah. particular, against a weaker hand. That should be enough. I think the last card may be Vendillion Click, even. We'll see. Brandon draws another land. Players trading land drops now. Looks like the one land Ely played that turn was the, the first of his cards that he scried to the top. And... Whatever the second one was, we're not going to know. Ely will shuffle before he draws it. It was a ruse. <laughs> I did, he didn't <laughs> want the second one. I'm going to shuffle anyway. I don't want to have to pick up my deck twice, though. And it's back to Cassis. End step, he says go. End step is Vendillion Click. Ely lets it resolve. His hand has two Electromancers, two Gifts Ungiven, and a Serum Visions. Yeah, no real compelling reason to Gifts in response. Yeah, I, I, the plan, I think, is to use these two Gifts to overload Brendan's mana. Or it was. It would be End Step, Gifts Untapped, Main Face Gifts. Yep. 
It's why you wouldn't cast in response here, because then Brendan gets to refresh his mana. He could yeah. negate, untap. You also don't cast in response because you then can just take it. it. Yeah, you just take whatever you find that's good. So, Vendillion Click takes care of one of the two gifts I'm given. Looks like Ely drew Pyretic Ritual off the trigger. That one's fine. It's not as good as drawing Mana Morphos here, but he's going to need Rituals to win the game at some point. So Regimbald swings for three, plays a tap land, and he's in such a strong spot. You see he's going to shock for his land, actually. He has both Spell Queller and Negate, and that's going to be very hard for Ely to break through. We're kind of entering a stage in the game where I actually don't like that shock. If you have kind of a close storm turn, which is certainly sure. possible, especially if you're breaking through a couple counter spells on your combo turn, those two points of life can matter. Yeah. So the gifts I'm given was cast. Spell Queller took it. But we have to remember it's a two-turn clock. The Colonnade on the last turn will just, and it might be, Actually, Ryan, it's a one turn. End step bolt, untap, activate, colonnade, swing is 13. That's a high number. So, so if he has it all in one turn, that might change how he wants to play. We'll see. Here's land five from Ely. All right, starts with Goblin Electromancer. This point has a couple of cards that Brendan doesn't know about anymore. Now, if he says go, and I'm on Brendan's side, I, I kind of want to just still lightning bolt Yili. Ignore the. I mean, it is lethal. Isn't that one shy of lethal? We have Mantha? five, nine, twelve. Oh no, you're right. It is. It is one shy. So he bolts the Electromancer. Okay. If it's one shy of lethal, I'm really off the play. <laughs> it makes it quite it makes a bit it quite worse. quite worse. Take care of the goblin. Yeah. Invitational players, that is. No, you're right. Spellcaller is a two, two, not a three. So yeah, here's a swing, puts Ely to eight. Brendan makes one more land, says go. Next turn, he will have it wrapped up. Ely draws gifts ungiven. There's still the negate in Brendan's hand. So Electromancer starts. The gate should roll this up. Yeah, there's two rituals and a gifts I'm given. As long as Brendan is patient enough to wait for the gifts, it should be good. Here's Storm 3 red mana from Cassis. Could spend the blue for gifts I'm given. Or just go all the way up on red. It, it, it doesn't really matter. Brendan just needs to be patient enough with the negate. Make sure he hits the gifts I'm given with it. Yeah, Ely going down to one card. All right, last card in hand. And Brendan did show the patience. Here's gifts I'm given, and there's the negate. It's going to counter Ely's last card, and he extends the hand. So Brendan Reginbald with Jeskai Control. He is your winner. Two games to one, taking both sideboarded games. And he will finish day number one at 6-1-1. One, and one. It's going to be 19 points for the Jeskai Control player. Yep, both